Hello dear friends, in trick number 270, today I am going to tell you a method through which you can find the amount in case of compound interest when the time is given in fractions. So this is a particular type of problem and you need to know the shortcut in order to solve problems related to this important concept of compound interest. Now see what is the concept. We all know that the formula for finding the amount is P into 1 plus R upon 100 raised to power N. In this formula obviously A is the amount, P is the principal that is the amount deposited, R is the rate of interest and N is the time that is number of years. Now suppose the time n is given in fractions like suppose we have 1 3 by 4 years so we can find out the amount by splitting this n into two parts we will have the whole number part that is 1 here and this 3 by 4 now 1 plus r upon 100 power 1 that is the first term and 1 plus in place of r this 3 upon 4 becomes the coefficient of r and in turn we divide this by upon 100. Now see if you put the value of R and P here you will get the amount received after 1 3 by 4 years. So the trick is to separate the whole number years the exact number of years whatever is there in the given question. The first term will be raised to that power the whole number power and the second term will have the coefficient of R as the fractional part of the number of years. Yet another example say we have n equal to 3 pi by 6 years. Now in this case amount will be found out by p into the first part will be 1 plus r upon 100 and the power will be the whole number exact whole number here is 3 so power 3 and the second term will have 1 plus now the coefficient of r will become 5 upon 6. So 5 upon 6 r and upon 100. Remember the power of this second term is always 1. Now using this method we will try and solve one question then you can practice this method in order to uh, solve questions in the competitive exams. Now see example. Now the example which I am taking the principal amount is rupees 10,000. The rate of interest is 5% per annum and the number of years that is the time is two and a half years. Now I need to find at 5% per annum compound interest what will be the amount received by investing the amount at uh, amount of rupees 10,000 for two and a half years. Now see I will make use of this method. The amount will be found out by P, P is 10,000, first bracket 1 plus R, R is 5. Now see the whole number part is 2 here, so we will have the power 2 and 1 plus the fractional part is half, so half of R, R is 5 upon 100. So this will give you 10,000 into this is 105 upon 100 into 105 upon 100 into now this part 1 plus this is 5 by 200 so 1 by 40 so 4 zeros 
they cancel out and you have 105 into 105 into this is 41 upon 40. Now you can very easily cancel this out with 5. The 5 is a 40. 5 21 times. So this is 105 into 21 into 41. So 21 into 1, 21, 1 to carry. 84 into 86 upon 8. And this calculation I have already done it for you to save time. This is 90405 upon 8 the answer will come out to be 11300.625 rupees. So see using this concept we can find out the amount received when the time given is in fractions. This is one of the questions in which the students feel uncomfortable and if you apply the traditional methods of solving this obviously that is going to consume a lot of time. So, utilize this method and practice it, practice it to attain mastery over this important concept. Share it and subscribe the channel if you like it.